A lot of buzz-worthy gadgets are coming out of the Consumer Electronics Show that's happening right now in Vegas. Oh, this is like a it's putting fun. a kid in a toy it shop. Is. Yeah, it seems like a technology straight out of a movie, but how about controlling your home, home, even the appliances in your home, just by using your smartphone? Yeah, let's do it. Jeff Mars in studio with us to explain this. We love this. Do you? Yes. Because I have questions about oh, being able to text my refrigerator. Of course and you the do. refrigerator texting me back. I think it's pretty cool that the refrigerator will keep inventory and let you know what's there. But uh, I don't know, I might want to just text the fridge and, and be like, hey, you know, what, what are you up to tonight? Well, you've complained no. about some kind of the lonely. women. Yeah, that at least the fridge might respond to your You want to do dinner? Fridge? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you pick. How's that? <laughs> <laughs> you know, this, this smart home technology, it's likely going to be in a lot of our homes within the next five years. It's catching on quick. And like you said, at the CES show in Las Vegas, a lot of this is being debuted and people are very uh, excited about this. One of the products being unveiled is called Home Chat. It was launched by LG and the idea is to communicate with your house via text. You can control all of your LG appliances and like I said, you can text your fridge to check on the inventory. You'll also be able to start the dishwasher, the vacuum cleaner, and preheat the oven before you even get home. That's the idea behind Samsung's smart home, which connects new smart appliances with its smartphones and tablets. Some of the other technology at CES includes smartphone-controlled light bulbs, a robot that works as both a mop and a vacuum cleaner, and a smartphone-connected crock pot. So you get the picture. It's all about integrating the home and the phone and giving you the ultimate control. Smartphones are going to be the remote control for our lives, controlling our home, security, heating and ventilation and air conditioning. Now, one potential problem with this is that there are a lot of different manufacturers unveiling their own products, so they all can't communicate with each other at the moment. One potential solution to that is that all these appliances can start talking to each other using a common system as the cloud, but they're not quite there just yet. And one other problem I was just thinking about, guys, with the whole preheating the oven thing. Akiba, I know you're kind of sold on this, but <laughs> what if you leave work and you text your smartphone to preheat the oven, the oven starts, and then you get a flat tire, or you get in a crash, or you get distracted, and, well, and meanwhile your oven is heating up at home? Gee, I mean... Jeff, can I just text it to turn it off then? <laughs> if you can remember, yeah, but uh, I don't you. know. I, if, if this stuff really saves you that much time, then I guess go for it. No, but I'm, as I'm we kind of old fashioned. As we said in the morning, where it really would come in handy is being able to turn things off if you think you mistakenly yeah. left them on. Turn the lights off, uh, close the garage door. And lock things. the doors. Yeah, yeah I know. I see the advantages. Yeah. One day when you have kids, you'll love it because it will allow you to check up on there what they go. supposedly did. Don't hold your breath on that day. Bang, on the kids. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, right, we won't. Yeah.